you want to tell them what this is? We have an Ikea Rudsta cabinet here that we're going to be setting up and putting in this area here. And like I showed you last week, it's going to be for all of our cacti and succulents and hoyas. So my friend Nick is going to come over and help me set this up today. I do have to drill a hole in it somewhere, so I'll take you through that process as well. But today it's pretty much just going to be setting up the new cabinet. You can probably hear my neighbor vacuuming upstairs. But um, yeah, we're just going to set up the cabinet, drill the hole, hopefully get the lights up if they come in time, and then yeah, show you how I get all the plants in and stuff. You want to roll the intro? <laughs> Do you want a treat? Yeah? Okay, let's go get a treat. Let's go get a treat! Oh my god, it's all boobs. <laughs>
We're skipping around a few steps because I decided that instead of drilling the hole down here, I'm actually just gonna drill it up here in the back panel because all I'm using in this cabinet is a grow light. So I'd rather just snake it directly from the top instead of having to like snake it all the way down here and then put it down, if that makes sense. So we're going to get this hole drilled and I'll show you what we're using. We just have a regular drill and then this like metal drilling bit up at the top. And we're just using some, my hair on the floor, WD-40 to kind of oil up the metal so that it like drills smoothly, but it is kind of scary. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Pudge is trapped behind that door and he's acting like the world is ending. <laughs> but um, our little drill thing was already pretty like worn down. Like look at that, that's like flat. So it is taking pretty long. Honestly, I probably should go run to the hardware store and get a better, um, what is this called? A drill bit? A drill extension? <laughs> a drill accessory? <laughs> um, but we're gonna try and make this work. Honestly, we're almost completely through. It's just, it needs like one good run and then we're good to go, but I'm letting it cool down because it got pretty hot. So also just a forewarning, I do not know anything about using tools like this or drilling through metal. So um, if someone has a better suggestion on how to do this, that's more seasoned than we are, please feel free to leave it in the comments because I am, um, we're just going with the flow here. Full transparency, this is a disaster. So don't do what we did and try and use a dull um, bit to saw it down. So we got a brand new one. It's got all the teeth intact. And um, this hole is massive now. It's giant, but it's fine. Cause I'm using this cabinet for cacti and succulents. So like, I'm not even really worried about humidity and stuff. So go ahead and roast us. We understand but we are locked and loaded with a better bit. But you wanna tell them what happened? <laughs> um, today has been the day from hell. I think I'm gonna rename this video or I think I'm going to name this video how to not build a rug stick cabinet. <laughs> um, guys, prepare yourself. Tell me this doesn't look like Wolverine tried to like break into this thing. Um, it's bad, it's really bad but the hole is there. Um, not to mention that the second we were gonna, I was gonna get that money shot of just like the satisfaction of drilling through the metal, my camera died and, and it didn't even save the video. It like completely corrupted. So that's where we're at. Um, but the hole is here. I'm sorry that I couldn't show you um, actually piercing through the thing. Eventually I will get a metal saw and um, clean up I don't know what I'm doing with my finger. Clean up the edges so that I don't cut myself. So this is with it with the cap on. It's definitely much better than with the cap off. I think I'm actually just going to super glue this down. And um, I don't know. I'm gonna worry about that another day. I just wanna get this thing installed so that I can finish filming and curl up in bed and watch scary movies because I'm on my period. 
and yeah it's a it's not a great day today so i guess i'm gonna finish getting this thing built nick had to leave so i am a lone ranger trying to get this the rest of this sort of installed so wish me luck So it is almost five o'clock. This has taken all day. Um, I did not expect it to take all day, but usually if things can go wrong with me, they will go wrong. But um, the hole doesn't look bad now that the cap is on. Um, reselling this will be very hard if I end up reselling it one day, which I really don't think I will. But anyway, um, cabinet is up. I wanna get it nice and clean. And then I'm going to get the lights up. And I think for now, I'm just gonna be using two of these Barina grow lights in there. And they're 10 watts each. So I'm gonna use two up here. And then maybe might get some on the lower level, but for now, I'm just gonna use two of them. Um, and then I'll get the plants in and hopefully get things wrapped up. So, so yeah. Onward and upward.
All right, this camera and this angle and just everything is not doing this cabinet justice, but I'm actually in love with it. Um, I'm really liking these lights. I like the color of them. I think they're very like inviting and happy. They're not like that cold fluorescent sort of like stark white color that a lot of grow lights can be. Um, yeah, I think they're gonna do really good in here. I am working with a lot of space and I'm feeling better about being able to bring home more cacti, succulents, hoyas, ripsalis, um, basically all non-aeroids and they're gonna have somewhere to live now. So um, the plan is eventually I'm gonna get some more lights down here. I think I'm gonna need one on every level to be honest because a lot of these are going to be really like light loving plants, but I do not want to think about that right now. Um, I think if I do get some lights down here, I'm going to need another hole. Don't want to think about that. So this is going to be fine for now. And yeah, I'm excited to fill it up. All right, it is Monday and I ended up getting the cabinet up on Saturday. So a few days have passed. I moved everything to the left. Like I shifted everything to the left just a little bit. This shelf needs to be restyled badly. It's looking like a hot mess but I'm really happy with it. I feel like this Redsta kind of matches this space more than the Millsville Wide, which I still have. It is in my plant room now. And for a future video, for two future videos actually, I'll show you what I'm gonna be putting in this empty space up top. And I will do an updated plant room video because it actually looks pretty different in there now. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. I've. I have a ton of space to work with, as I mentioned. I do have some Hoyas coming. Um, I think over the weekend, I am gonna go to my local nursery and see what other kind of cacti and ripsalis that they have. Um, and maybe I'll take you with me, I don't know. I'll, I'll talk to the owner and see if she'll let me film. But yeah, I love this thing. Oh, I should mention, I decided that the 10 watt panels aren't gonna be strong enough. I think they're beautiful and I love them, but I'm gonna be using these 10 watt panels in my XOs because those I think would appreciate sort of a less harsher light because I think I have like 30 watt panels in there right now. So I'm gonna switch them. I'm gonna put 24 watt light panels in here instead. And maybe I won't have to do some on every level since it'll be stronger, but yeah, I'm not gonna show that in this video because I'm not getting the lights till the end of the week, but otherwise, it's done. So yeah, if you've been looking for a sign to get a red stuff, uh, I guess here it is. It is, I just, I love it so much. And I'm just waiting for Ikea to release their next cabinet that I'm gonna feel like I need, and I will try and resist, but I'm very, 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 very happy with my cabinet. So today I'm gonna be, um, Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be picking out some cacti and succulents. Oh my God. It's so loud here. I am going to be picking out some cacti and succulents today. I brought them some donuts, like a bunch of donuts, and we're just gonna go shopping. And I'll show you inside. It is like my favorite nursery ever. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so this is the nursery. It is beautiful in here. I tried to come when there wasn't a lot of people so that I wasn't getting in the way. But this is the inside, so it's actually a very big place. This is kind of like, I guess, the main plant market area. And it's just like really beautifully laid out and they put a lot of like time and attention into the merchandising and like the store layout and it's just like a really great just a really great store so I'm gonna start over here I guess um sorry if it's kind of muffled obviously I'm wearing my mask we have some pepperomias aglonimas I think these are like begonias. These ones are so healthy and lush. I don't know how they keep them so happy. Like mine at home looks awful. 
And then over here we have the alocasias. This is kind of like my area. So I've been wanting one of these. This is an alocasia cerian, I think it's called. And then this is just an Amazonica. These are like the new ones that have just come out. Um, these are alocasia cuprias and this one is pretty big here. It's kind of got a wonky leaf, but it's getting some size on it. I, I actually didn't like these in the beginning because I felt like they were kind of creepy, but now I'm starting to like appreciate them and I think they're kind of cool. Down here are Alocasia Nicolipsiana Maxkowskii. They're labeled as fried eggs, but obviously they're not fried eggs. This one's actually pretty big. And they are $12.99. And then we have some Stingray Alocasias here. And then some Alocasia, I don't actually know the names of this. Is this like a Hilo Beauty or something? I can't remember. We've got some bigger stingrays in this corner. And then this is Calathea land. I do not bring home Calatheas as beautiful as they are. Like I love this one here. Um, but Calatheas are not allowed in my home. So this greenhouse right here is my greenhouse. This is my favorite greenhouse. It's where they have all the tropicals and the cacti and succulents and it's just amazing in here. So I'm gonna try and take you through every single aisle and kind of show you what they have. But I do have to do a little bit of work here today so I can't really be filming too much. So I'll start here. This is not for sale. This is like their big satin pothos mother plant, Argyreus. It looks like there's some silvery yen mixed into here. And then we've got some ficus tiniki. Um, these ones are really, really red. And this one is more white. And we've got just regular rubber plants. And then we have some ZZ plants. I don't know why I don't have one of these yet, honestly. Like I should just stick one in a bathroom. Okay, over here we have some Philodendron, Philodendron Hastatum Silver Swords. These ones are really humongous. And then we have some Philodendron Birkins. I love when the variegation is like this. Like, look at this leaf right here. So beautiful. And I forgot what the name of this one is. I had one when it was really small and then I forgot to water it and it died. Whoops. Okay, over here are some, ah, these are some Ficus Audrey's. If you've never seen one of these in person or had one, um, they look shiny, but they're actually fuzzy to the touch. I might pick up one of these today. I've been wanting one actually, like a bigger one. And then this one, these are always confused with the ficus Audrey's, so you can tell the difference. The Audrey is a bit darker than this one over here, which is a ficus altissima. And it has a very, very subtle, sort of like green variegation along the center of the midrib. But it's, um, yeah, it's not super, super apparent. Oh, you can see it more on this leaf, like right here. And then we just have some fiddle leaf figs, some Monstera Adansonia is back there, um, some nerve plants. Snake plant land. The fans might be really loud in the background, but obviously I'm not gonna tell them to turn this off. More Adansonii's. I think that they just got this fountain. Um, look at this monster of a leaf. Holy smoke. The massive bird paradise. Oh 
and um, actually let me loop you around before I take you into the cacti and succulent. So we just have some yucca. Um, I think those are Alocasia adora. Port Portora, it says. Some string of hearts, regular string of hearts. Oh, this is what I was looking for. I want to bring one of these home. I really like when they mature. It's just, they're always plagued with these like orange copper spots. But anyway. Um, just some Christina. Oh my gosh, I'm so tempted to get another one of these. Um, but I really don't have anywhere to put it. And then some Lucidophora tetraspermas. No, these are not variegated. Um, I've heard that the sort of wonky patterning is from when they're like in the box and like they don't have light or something. I don't know. It's not variegation though. And then we have a um, bird's nest anthurium. This one's really big. And then we have some saloons, I think it's called. Poyas. These are so fun, so bright. And then these are like my favorite. Look at how fun this one is. Um, oh my gosh, this one is humongous. I actually don't know what that is. Okay, so that's sort of like the tropical area. Now I'm gonna take you back into the cacti and succulent area, which is like one of the main reasons that I come here. And, uh, Okay, I'll start in this corner. Full disclosure, I don't know a lot of the names of these. I just love a good cactus. And then these fire sticks are so fun, but I just can't bring one home just in case it falls off. Like, they're super toxic to dogs and I'm just not willing to risk it, but you don't have dogs. Beautiful one of these like fun blue cacti. I still can't believe it's blue. I love this one. This is the one that um, I brought home recently. They gifted one to me and I love it so much. I have it in a south facing windowsill and it's doing really well. more of the blue cacti and um, have some cactus arrangements here oh I love this wall this is like the wall that I could just spend forever just like looking at all the different cacti On this side, even more cacti. These are some of the smaller ones. Like if you want to do like a arrangement. Oh my gosh, I want to take home all of them. Is that possible?
fuzzy guy. What are these little Pokemon looking things? <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you joking? It's a Pokemon practice. Yeah, this one this one's kind of humble to me. I'm just gonna take them all off the floor. So of all the cacti that I've looked at so far, I think this one is definitely my favorite. Are you joking? This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It's a Mammalaria spinosissima unpico. Un Mammalaria spinosissima. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So this is what I ended up getting from their new stock. Um, but there were a few out here that I wanted to bring home. So, <sighs> decisions, decisions. Okay, I really want this one right here. It's a, what is this? Opuntia subulata. Look how funny he is. I just love the funny ones. Like. I just want all the funny ones to come home with me. Um, there was another one I saw here earlier that I wanted to take. Who was it? Oh, there's more funny ones. Wait a second. Look at these funny ones. Oh, I like this one. He's so cute. Okay, wait, which one do I like more? Wait, I think it's different actually. <sighs> hmm. Feel, I feel like I need to take one of these home. Like, I have another one that I love so much. This is a Mateo Cactus Species Cristata. Hmm. Um, there's more down here. So I actually think I like this one more than, wait, do I? Repotting this does not look like fun. I think, Look at this weird one. Oh, I kind of like it. What a weird guy. All right, hard decisions need to be made, but I think I need one with hair. So I think I might go with this guy. There's more back there, but I can't reach and I don't want to disturb anything. Actually, I think I like, this one looks pretty fun. This is a um, Oreos, Oreo Sirius Celsianus. Celsianus? Anus? <laughs> hmm. Do I like this one? What do you think? I do want one with hair. Like, I don't have like a hairy cactus yet. Oh, they literally call it the hairy old man. <laughs> okay. I think I'll take. I think I'll take this one. This one's pretty cool. I'm trying to shop and film at the same time, so it might be kind of wobbly. This one is pretty cool too. This is a Opuntia monocantha monstros. Fun. I think I'll grab one of these too. Yeah, I feel like this is a good haul. And maybe just one more. Who's it gonna be? I'm like, I, I'm still gravitating back towards this one, this one, or like one of these. I don't know. <gasps> Look how cute he is. Ugh. Adorable. I'm gonna get you all set up here. How about 
You go like this and go over. Okay, sit. Good boy. Okay, stay. Stay there. I said stay. So I'm back home. Um, it's actually Friday, so it's the next day. And yeah, I got a massive migraine when I got home. I think it was from the heat. Yesterday was like the first hot day and I was running around the greenhouses and it was just, I didn't eat, I didn't have coffee. So I naturally, um, my brain was like, what are we doing? Ah, there's a hair, there's a loose hair. I'm just gonna pluck it out, ow. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had a massive migraine. So as soon as I came home, I just went straight to sleep and took like a three hour nap. So I'm back, I'm fine now. But um, I wanted to show you what I grabbed from Vandula yesterday. They gave me some of their fresh fruits. Um, I guess one of their main, um, like one of the main parts of their business is strawberry growing. So yeah, I had some last night for dinner, had some of these last night for dinner. So good, um, so much better than Walmart strawberries, tell you that much. So thank you, Vandula, for those. Um, I am just going to get into the cacti that I brought home. The first one is a Mammillaria honeyana, AKA Old Lady Cactus. <laughs> I don't know why this one got the name Old Lady Cactus, but I think it's very, very cute. Um, I'm totally on a like, globular is that what you say globular globular cactus kick like i just want all the the like little pokemon looking cacti so um most of them that i got actually look like this so yeah this one's a mammillaria haniana so uh this one is a mammillaria bocasana rosea flora it says mammillaria Bo bocasana rosea flora is a soft bodied dark green freely clustering globular plant with a few hooked centrals and lots of silky hair-like spines and lovely pink flowers. Um, native to Mexico. This one is adorbs. This one is a Notocactus ubomanianus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, it says, it is a globular cactus from South America with a shiny deep green skin like a tomato. Spines are oppressed, meaning recurving toward body. One of the few cacti with rich royal purple flowers. Um, yeah, I just, I couldn't resist the fact that they were like clustered and just, I love these little like cotton ball fuzzy looking things. Um, yeah, I never, I guess I never appreciated that part of a cactus before, but I'm enlightened now. <laughs> And then, like I showed you at Vandula, I put this on, on my story. This is a Mammillaria spinosissima unpico. It says native to Guerrero, Mexico. This select cultivar called unpico, meaning one spine, has only one spine emerging from each areoli, areole creating a very snowy white top where the new spines emerge and gives a very geometric pattern created by the ubumpsmo down the rest of the body. Oh. I'm trying to just see like how it differs, but Pudgy, be the bigger person. Um, yeah, I don't know. What, like, I just, something, something, I know, it looks like a dryer ball. It looks like my, you know those like plastic dryer balls? Yeah, it looks just like it, except obviously cuter. So I posted one of these in my story like two days ago, and I think they might be the same one. This one is just much bigger and not like a super, super dark green. Um, so I am still looking for the one that I put on my wish list, but this one is, I would say a close second. It's just like a, very light green looking. I think this is a domino cactus and I just, yeah, there's little spikes coming out of these little fuzzy guys. So don't be fooled by their cuteness. Um, but this is a Echinopsis subdenudatum dominoes. It says dominoes forms velvety emerald green globes with very prominent, very woolly white areoles with tiny spines, large white scented flowers in the summer. 
I'm not a huge fan of, of the flowers, but I do love this. This one, I think that this is my, I think this is the second favorite of mine from my little haul. I just am so like mesmerized by the patterning of these spikes. Uh, but this is a, it just says a mammillaria species. It is native to Mexico and the Southwest. That's it. <laughs> Are you fine? You can't breathe? Poor thing. Look at his little paws tucked in. Ah, it's all boobs. Sorry. The next one is not a globular cacti, but um, it is an Opuntia subulata monstros, AKA Christmas tree. <laughs> Uh, Opuntia subulata monstros is an easy to grow form of the larger tree like Opuntia subulata. This form has many tiny branches resembling a Christmas tree or mini pine tree. Primitive leaves at the tips turn rose red in cold weather. Okay. I just love how like hairy it is. I mean, it's very phallic looking. Yeah, I just think it's really cute. So we have another little round Pokemon cacti. And again, very mem mesmerized by these like spikes and thorns and they're just, it's beautiful. So this is again, a mammillaria species and it's native to Mexico and the Southwest. This one is so, so cool. This is a mammillaria bomb, Bomycina, Bomycina, Mammillaria Bomycina, aka Silken Pincushion. Um, it says the Mammillaria Bomycina is native to Mexico. It's a globular cacti with hooked spines and dense white wool. Clusters, free, clusters freely to form large clumps in time. Lilac pink flowers first appear in February. And yeah, this one is really, 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 really freaking cool. It looks like a little alien. I love it. Um, these to like in person, it looks like these would be very like soft, but they're super spiky, but it's nice because they kind of, they hook like this. So even if you kind of like run into it, you don't get that spike. This would be good for, ah, <laughs> this would be good for my friend Alice who has an obsession with touching cacti spikes. Do not do that. Okay, so this one is not a globular cacti, but they're out. There were a few of these and um, it looked like this one had been dropped or something. Like this, the spikes look all like bent and stuff. Like it just like dropped on its head. So I was like, nobody's gonna wanna take you home. So I took him home and um, I'm going to love him very much. So this one is an Opuntia, it's a beaver tail cactus, and there is no description on it, but I love the color of this. It's like very seafoam green, and I think it's gonna be a good contrast to some of the cacti that I'm gonna be putting in the cabinet. This is the last globular cacti that I have, and I've been wanting one of these for a while, I think. Yeah, I have another one, and it looks very similar, but this one is like a lighter color. I think they're different. Yeah, because they have different color spikes. So um, this one is, oh, there's no, uh, there's no label on it. So I don't know what it is actually. Um, but yeah, these ones also have like somewhat like hooked spikes and it's got like the little fuzzy cotton ball looking things on the spines. And this is just really fun. I love it. I love the way it looks from, from here and it's spilling everywhere. Second to last cacti is this one. You saw me grab this guy. Uh, this is an Oreo Sirius Celsianus, Celsianus, and they call it Old Man of the Andes. It says it's a column columnar columnar cactus from the higher altitudes of Peru, Argentina, and Bolivia. This old man is so called for the long hairs. And yeah, I just really love this. This is so funny, like that a plant would just like have hair like this. I just love the shape of this. I've seen some bigger ones, but for some reason, I'm just like obsessed with 
how tiny and adorable this one is. So this says it's an Opuntia monacantha monstros. It says Opuntia monacantha parentheses vulgaris is native to South America. This monstros form has tiny ears studded along the margins of the pads. It's a good windowsill or patio plant. I'm excited to learn um, more cacti terminology because right now the only thing I've been describing them as is hairy, cute, Pokemon, spikes. That's it. <laughs> um, so we've got a lot of learning to do. Okay, and then I did grab two other plants that I'll show you that are not cacti. I don't know how to say this and I'm not going to call it by the name on the tags and I still don't know why these are being printed on the tags. And called this, um, I think it's called a Tradescantia. Stop, I'm so annoying. Tradescantia Nanook? Tradescantia, I don't know. Um, this isn't for me, it's actually for my mom and my grandma. I'm actually really, really in love with the variegation on this. Um, I'm just, I don't like this color. But if this was like, white like it had like green undersides and it didn't have sort of this purple hue to it this would be my plant like look at that variation that's stunning um so yeah i grabbed this for my mom and my grandma because there's a few plants in here and this is so their type of plant so i'm happy to be able to bring this back um and then the last one that i have I just grabbed another one of these because this one was kind of wonky. Like look at the venation on that and it does have a little bit of like sport variegation. Actually a lot of the um, the Michelitziana Maxkowski eyes that are coming out of our greenhouses are variegated. So um, yeah, I've been trying to like, you know, see if I can get lucky. And the newest leaf on this one has a few little hints that it might um, be variegated in the future but yeah these are obviously being labeled as alocasia fridex but they are not uh it's an alocasia michelitziana maxkowski alocasia michelitziana maxkowski so the one that i have in my care is not doing the greatest it's basically cut back to the corm and uh yeah i'm gonna get a second try okay so that is pretty much all of the plants that i got um i'm going to ow i'm going to get some of these repotted and i don't think that i'm going to show it on camera i think i'm kind of ready to just call it on this video i feel like you guys have seen enough cacti repotting in my last video but um just a huge thank you to vandula farms for always showing me like the best hospitality and making me feel at home when I come to visit. Um, thank you for all of these cacti that I am going to love so much. If you live in the Vancouver area, they're doing a big cactus sale and they're like moving out a lot of the tropicals from that main greenhouse that I showed you. Um, the sale is going to be from June 26th to July 4th. So go visit them. There's so many to choose from. They did a really great job of bringing in a ton of different species and like a good variety of cacti. I will be returning next week um, to get more. Would you like to say goodbye to them? <laughs> oh, big boy. Okay. Hold on, can I... Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that was a big one. That was a big one. Okay, before we go, say thank you for watching our video today. Thank you for to all of our old and new subscribers. And um, thumbs up if you liked this. And we will see you in the... <laughs> we will see you in the next one. Bye!